What, what makes a good documentary? Um, well, I think the same things that make a good story, for one, I think that it all goes back to Aristotle's poetics, if, to be honest. I mean, we haven't really evolved that much in the last couple thousand years, if you look at it that way. Um, a good story is still a good story. Conflict, resolution. Um, in nonfiction, for me, uh, you know, I get approached to make a lot of films about icons. And one thing I'd like to say is that just because someone has done extraordinary things in their life doesn't mean they've lived an extraordinary life. Right. Take Robert Evans, for example. Bob, I used to joke. The kid stays in the picture. The kid stays in the picture. I used to joke with Evans that he's produced some of the most amazing movies of the 20th century. Chinatown, The Godfather, the list goes on and on. But the greatest production of all has been his life. I mean, Bob's life is, is more exciting than any movie he's ever made. And so, as, as has been Jane Goodall's, as was Kurt Cobain's, as was the Rolling Stones. Um, so I think that I'm interested in people who do things on their own terms, who kind of live, on, who exist kind of on the fringe and can tell their story. You know, Keith Richards, um, for whatever, for whether you love him or hate him, is one of the great rancatures. I mean, listen, I could listen to Keith talk for days on end. And so you, anybody who has that, you know, Graydon Carter, the editor of Vanity Fair, used to say about Bob that um, he'd be entertained if Bob read the phone book and Bob Evans. And that's the type of character that I look for. Someone who can sort of not only lived it, but can tell it in, a, in an exciting way. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.